Hi everyone, we're back with a fall to winter skin regime that you'll want to transfer into at this time. Part two. Part two. And we are into our facial mist, which we prefer to do that right after we cleanse our face. That's why cleansing is part one. Um, and we kind of put them, stage them together because I wanted to mention this one first before we go into the other mist. Is that I came out with the magic, which is the firming and toning magic spray and the facial cream. Now, this is in a bigger jar. Originally, we put it into a smaller mushroom, we call mushroom jars, that was 0.8 ounces. And that was not lasting as long as the spray. We had a lot of people let us know that. Including me, mm -hmm. and I just said spray more, but right. the truth is the spray lasts a long time. For a two ounce bottle, this baby lasts or of, I rarely, like, I'm thinking every two months refill my bottle, if that. Right. I think I only use three sprays. Yeah. About three. So, I just wanted everyone to be aware that the Magic Firming um, Toning Duo is split where you can buy it this single, this single, or as a set. Your choice, because you may choose a different facial mist, and they all work with all of our facial creams. So everyone is very individual in our skincare with applying facial mist. Why facial mist? Facial mist immediately apply moisture to the skin. So like on, if you've ever flown first class, <laughs> they would give you this years ago, a little, little kit, and then it would be a facial mist. So your skin dries out during, especially in the winter months. And by applying a mist, it revives the skin, it wakes it up, and the moisture helps it from becoming severely dry, which then leads to a whole nother host of problems. So with the, the magic, whether the mist and or the duo, I use them both together. This is what I'm using right now. And that one, is locally um, harvested horsetail along with my comfrey leaves and my own stone crop, which brings a silica. And as we age, we need that silica back just as much as we need the collagen. We need silica. Silica is also what supports women going by like the strong body tea for uh, osteopenia, osteoporosis. So the bones start thinning. Well, so does our, our facial skin and so does our hair. So this is fantastic for your face by adding silica. It's so not talked about, but needs to be. And so that's why we bring that to you. So here's your, after cleansing, you want to apply your facial mist to um, bring up the moisture content before you do anything else. And how many sprays do you would you suggest? So I know if I hit more than three, I've got too much. Mm -hmm. And I may have to wipe it off my lips because um, I don't like it on my lips. But usually about three sprays, and that's why we say it lasts a long time. So you have the magic for silica. I'm saying more mature skin, more dry skin, um, aging skin. This is fantastic. Right. So... This is another one of my favorites. It's hard to pick a favorite of all the products, but this is the calming face mist. This is our calming rose face mist um, because I do have rosacea. This is a product that I use all year long. Um, I also have a little bit oily skin, um, which has significantly improved by using all the products here. Um, but I think that this one is probably the one that I use the most. I keep it in my purse. Um, it's a very, um, easy thing for me to do to just pull that out when I'm a little sweaty when I need that extra freshness um, when I'm running errands things like that this is very calming for your skin that's what's called calming the, the rose hip in there is amazing it has a light floral scent it really feels like summertime 
in the wintertime for me. I really oh, enjoy that. That's scent. a nice way of putting mm -hmm. it. And we only use organic hydrosols when we were working. They're certified organic. Are the top of the line in the hydrosols. We do our own witch hazel here. So we can include our herbs, right. uh, berries, whatever it is. And so for me, calming, I tend to have, um, I don't have oily skin. And I'm not going to say that I have real dry skin. But in the winter time, if I just want a little glow, I'll spritz a little bit. But I won't do it every day. This is a big key piece here. During the winter, too much vitamin C, which is your row tips. It can be too much for more mature, non-oily skin. So just be aware of that. So for me, calming is like my spring and summer must have. That's when I do a lot of sweating. That's where I want it. It smells amazing. And I, everyone at this point knows I'm not a rose person. I love this particular um, facial mist. And then the last one we have do you want me to? Yeah, you okay. can talk about that one. Okay. It's smoothing. Oh my gosh, guys. It's with my splanthes that I grow here. It's nature's Botox. It, it, it tightens, it tingles, it tightens. It's not a bad tingle. It doesn't burn. It tightens, it, it, it tingles. It is getting into your skin and creating that natural Botox. It smells amazing for me. And I tend to now right now I'm in the magic but I'm I'd like to go back and forth with the smoothing and the magic during the cooler and then the dark winter months where I need more moisture than ever before so this is part two is after your cleansing hit your facial mist and we'll be right back with you with part three this is where we're gonna be talking about our serums. Thanks for just hanging with us. And by the way, Bit was barking. Uh, every time I do a video, Bit is my dog, if you don't know. She is the whole neighborhood dog of letting everyone know the bears are up. Right. And right. I live in bear country <laughs> at any given day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hear that in the background, we apologize. There's nothing I can do about it. We just accept. In fact, I got up to go see where the bear was. <laughs> so we'll be back, part three, serums.